Apple's iWatch is now rumored to have hit some manufacturing issues. New reports revived the LG Nexus 5 as a device that's at the FCC. And if you want the HTC One in blue, well, you better like Best Buy. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I wish OEMs would know exactly how much I hate the word exclusive. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news. Motorola CEO has now confirmed that the company is working on a tablet. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, it's not hot news. I mean, none of their tablets have ever been really compelling, but obviously this is a new Motorola and we are expecting for them to finally get this right. And aside from that, Google is so proud of their own assembly plan for the Moto X that they've actually featured it on Street View. So links in the description down below if you're interested in seeing this Dallas Fort Worth assembly plan. And speaking of Google, you remember those reports of the Nexus 5 at the FCC. At first we thought it was, and then the tipster confirmed that it was a CDMA variant of the G2 and not really the device that we were waiting for. Well, as it turns out, if you read deeper into the documentation at the FCC, it turns out that this is a GSM-only phone, so it could hold water that this is the variant of the Nexus 5 that we're waiting for from the LG G2. Uh, and judging by the specifications of this phone, it better be, because this phone is going to be as hot as can be if the specs are what they are right now, so stay tuned for the rumors. Now let's talk about HTC as we've been waiting for their phablet HTC One, which is dubbed the HTC One Max. And as it turns out, if you're interested in that phone, apparently it will be launched, but it will be a Sprint exclusive. Uh, yeah, I know that's terrible news. And speaking of exclusivity, if you're interested in the blue variant of the HTC One, well, you better like Best Buy because it's a store exclusive for Best Buy, but you can obviously buy it for the other carriers and it'll cost you the same amount of money. So again, if you're interested in that color, Best Buy is where you're supposed to go. And for all 17 of you that are interested in the Amazon Kindle Fire HD revamp, well, we've got some leaked photographs of the tablet already, and it has this dramatic redesign, which we can't understand since the previous one actually kind of looks better than this one. But again, these are just leaks. We haven't really seen the final product, and prototypes could be common. Still, this tablet is due for a revamp very soon, and we know that a lot of you are just waiting for it to root it, so stay tuned for that. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, those of you that are concerned about the Touch ID sensor on the iPhone 5S, well, there is an article, there is a video, there is a lot of documentation about why this feature is secure and how Apple plans to keep your fingerprint as a device-only thing, meaning that it will not share your information with anyone. One, even though pretty much every entity in the United States already has your fingerprint anyways. But aside from that, in the case of the iWatch, apparently, well, manufacturers have kind of landed this sort of a problem because apparently Johnny Ive's design is so complicated for the iWatch that's been rumored and Digitypes is reporting that these companies are having a hard time breaking even and being able to build this watch. So yeah, this will probably be a 2014 issue. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. You know, judging by that Galaxy Gear that we already saw, is the iWatch still a device that you're waiting for? In my particular case, honestly, the Galaxy Gear sadly does not answer any of my particular needs so far. I definitely don't need a smaller camera or other things that the Galaxy Gear brings to the market, so I am waiting for the iWatch. Probably Apple can figure out a better use for the iWatch. Still, leave us a comment down below. Is the Galaxy Gear your device or are you waiting for something better? Friends, of course, you know the drill. If you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Also, follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.